Hello everybody, this is Fab, but this is how you do it. I just did a video on applying eyelashes, and now I'm going to do my hair. I just washed my hair, just got out the shower. This is a wash and go. Um, and I'm going to use my gels to ac activate my curls. I wash my hair with conditioner only. And now I'm going to apply some gel. I do have coffee. And at this point, if you want to, you can put some oil on your hair. I have canola, not canola oil, but I have used canola oil. But I have uh, coconut oil. Oil is oil. If you can use coconut oil and olive oil, you do cook with that, you can use canola oil, you can use Crisco, you can use all of that. Because all of it is cooking oil. Now I have put the oil in my hair, close that up, and now I'm going to apply a gel. I got this gel for 99 cents. And this gel is actually a uh, no flake gel for those people that are uh, concerned about when they do their hair is flaking. It, right there it says no flake, right there, no flaking. And this is the name of the gel and this is how much it costs. And this right here I got it from the beauty supply store. And it does work. And if you want to uh, cut your Hawaiian Silky from being so greasy, you apply this gel first and then your Hawaiian Silky. And then you will still have the same moisture of the Hawaiian Silky, but it will not be a greasy, 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 greasy deal. I am applying the no flake gel right now. Rubbing it in. I have not done any finger decombing, finger detangling or anything like that. This is the way my hair comes looks when it comes directly out the shower after after uh, washing with the conditioner. And this is my detangling what you're watching now. This is it. I'm, I stick my fingers like that like a comb go down into it and comb through it that and then my hair is detangled at this point and rub it in and that's my look now at this point I will get the Hawaiian Silky and go over that and this is my Hawaiian Silky price for Hawaiian Silky is that amount if you have free shipping you can order it and they will bring it directly to your dough at that price or you can go to the beauty supply store and pick it up you say they are using two gels why are you doing that I'm using the Hawaii, the Hawaii Silky simply because I want the moisture in the hair after using the gel the grease to stay in it and it will stay in there if anyone has used Hawaiian Silky they know exactly what I'm talking about but then it won't be as greasy
there's no um, way that you have to officially separate your hair. It's what feels good in your hand. And you do apply the gel, at least I do, gen genuinely, <laughs> you know, heavy handedly. At least I do. Until I have slip. So until the gel goes through the hair without any effort, it kind of slides through. And I'm combing as I go. Smooth and comb. That's how I apply it. From root to tip. Hawaiian silky. Going on top. Root to tip. It glides even easier when I do that. Going through a finger combing it, making sure that what I said gets in the middle. Then rub and release. And that's your deal right there. Your nails have a tendency to split, so if I have any split nails, I just pull them right off right then. To me, my hair is more important than my nails. That's just my thing. So I go ahead on and, and, and snatch it right off right then. Yellow gel. If you get too much, just rub your hand on top of the container and get it off. If you think it's too much. And comb it through. Why is silky? comb through I'm getting up toward to my straight hair I have three different textures of hair the top of my hair grows very straight I've learned to accept that and keep it moving Wine silky, rub it in, go through the inside of it, and then rub.
away and silky checking the camera to see if it's still working And that's the way this looks. And it was all cut at the same time. It's just the way it grows. And so I have to finger comb it and try to get it to blend in. or twist it. I know when um when I first went natural, I used to what like to watch uh, people do their hair, uh, actually get the curls in their hair, and how they do it because sometimes I think I take for granted that people know how to do this already because it's so um, publicized. But then because I didn't do videos and I, I, I didn't uh, get on the, on the internet that much. I didn't know about this until two or three years ago. Well, three years ago. Three and a half years ago. That's when I first learned, out about, learned about it. So, every once in a while I like to give a little detailed thing on how to do it. I wash my hair with conditioner. Sulfate free, what, what uh, you know, silicone free, all of that kind of free stuff. Just conditioner, any conditioner, it really don't matter. But I started out with Tresemme. You can use VO5 and all, all stuff like that. Just washed with conditioner only. I use olive oil once and pulled it in my hand the way you saw I did with the uh, coconut oil. Rub it through my hair and then style with a gel. And I use alcohol free gel. I started out with uh, um, olive oil eco style gel. And at night I would uh, put my head, my head up on the, like a plastic shower cap before I go to bed. And cover it up and let conditioner sit on it. And then my hair started to change and wave up and curl like this. I would actually sleep into in a shower cap for, for over six months. But when I first did my big chop and my hair was short and because my hair would be moist, I would put a shower cap on it. Didn't really know what I was doing, but what I was actually doing was hydrating my hair at night. They call that the hydration method and with conditioner on it every night for six months straight. I did that. And then my hair turned out like this. The conditioner changed the texture of my hair by sleeping on it. It like a conditioner is it's sort of like an ultra perm to me. It made my hair start to curl up. 
well it didn't make it didn't make it curl up my hair black hair is naturally curly it loosened the curls in my hair and made it like that they weren't so tight when I when I slept in the conditioner every night and every morning I got up and washed it out because I had a TWA which is called a teeny weeny afro so it was easy to get in the shower and wash my hair every morning after I'm sorry I had to restart it but I uh, slept under, under the uh, shower cap plastic shower caps you can get I don't know a lot of them, 100, 60, 50 in a, in a bag. And you can change them every night. Or you can just get a Walmart bag, shape it to the shape of your head, tie it up, and cover it with a, um, a, a satin, your, your bonnet to hold it down, and your hair will sweat while you sleep. And that heat will, will heat up that conditioner and change the texture of your hair. That's how I started. Not knowing anything about uh, making curls and being natural. And what I call natural is uh, not getting a perm anymore. All the perm is cut out your hair. I do color my hair. I don't know too many people that don't. They use some kind of uh, color. If it's henna, you can use henna if you want to go all natural. But, um, or you can just uh, stay gray. There's a lot of people that stay gray, older women. But I was never one that stayed gray. My, I don't look good with gray hair. And I was, I used, my hair used to be gray when I was nine years old. So I was one of those girls that the old folks touch your head and for good luck because you had gray hair. They called it good luck. And I never did like it. And um, most people in my hair, in my family hair, they, uh, pre they get they premature gray. I think it's something in the blood. My brother has a head full of gray hair. My oldest brother, he had his in his 20s. Um... My mom, she, she used to love her gray hair. She would uh, do a, a rinse to make her gray look shiny and, and glossy and, you know, all that kind of good stuff. It looked like a platinum blonde. But I didn't want that look. That's just, that's just my preference. So I color mine every month. And it does not take my hair out. I have not lost any hair behind that. And it has not straightened my hair or changed the texture of my hair either. And I think henna is a little messy. That's why I don't fool with henna. I have seen vid videos about it. But it's a lot of work to do something that man has already made for you. It's already made up in, in, in the form of a dye. Because you can actually buy dye made out of powder and mix it yourself. But but they have people out there with companies and factories that's, that's already did it for you. Cut out some of that work for you. That's why I, go, I use it. Why, why should I do all the work when there's already a product made that'll do it? It's just like when you make your own gel. I can make my own flaxseed gel. I can make my own... Uh, uh, that's another gel that I, I uh, that you can make too. Instead of going through all that trouble making your gel and putting all your oils in it, you can buy the gel with. That's already ready. If you can afford to buy the gel, buy the gel. You can make your own oils with infusion, your lavender oil, your, your um, you put, you put your whatever, uh, fragrance you want in your oil and let it infuse. You can, you can heat it up and make it quicker or you can just drop the stuff in the oil and let it sit. And then you, then you have an infused oil. 
you can make this stuff yourself and be all natural. But my thing is, if I could buy it, save myself a little trouble, and it's not that expensive, I don't mind buying it. But then I do know how to make it myself. Also, I do know how to do that. The art has not been lost with me. Because <laughs> I don't know how to do it. <laughs> And I'm turning to the sides like this so you can see more of my hair. Not really dead on in the face camera the other day. I haven't did fun day makeup in a while. I say I, sh I really need to do some fun day makeup. I do fun day videos when I'm get into my makeup and really use it. This is finger detangling and combing. Got a lot of stuff down in the floor. I will be doing my videos uh, on my bike when I uh, we do ride outs I got a dash cam pro I'm gonna show it to you guys and show it show you know demonstrate how it works and I just hope it don't have to stay charged up the whole time you're riding like you know they, they show it like you have to have it plugged into your cigarette lighter uh, if you're in a vehicle but I, I have it on charge now I'm going to put it on, I'm putting it on a 24 hour charge because you can charge it in your house also. And I'm just hoping it can just run off that battery charge. But I will be demonstrating that for you guys on a separate video. The same way I'm going to demonstrate the, uh, the power speakers also to you guys. Those are some Christmas gifts that came in. And I just want to thank the Lord for that because I've always wanted to be able to be able to drive I mean ride the motorcycle and show y'all video at the same time because I was able to do that when I didn't own a motorcycle when I was on the back with Willie I filmed all the time as we were riding and I can't do that and drive at the same time so now that I got the uh the dash cam thing I'll probably be able to do it now you know, they do make those cameras where you can attach it to your helmet. I didn't get that. We'll see how this works. If that's if it don't work well on the motorcycle, then I just use it in the truck. And uh get something for for a helmet. We'll see how it works for before we are making a judgment right now. Like I say, I have to do a demo on how to operate it and on a review on how well it works on a bike. For people that have motorcycles and may want to try it themselves. Like when we be riding in funerals and weddings and how we be blocking off the traffic and like taking over the road, so to speak. When we be riding, it'd be really something. I got those, my, 
my Christmas socks laying over there. I was going to put them on my feet. I got to keep make sure I don't use it there. So a washcloth, all that Terry sitting over there looking all comfy. I got it sitting over there so I can put it on when I get through with my hair. I was going to put it on before. But then I got my hands into all this gooky gooky. And I'm almost through with this. So I'm going to show y'all what I have on my outfit of the day. I got on something tight so you can see more of my body because you know let you know that I, I haven't blowed up overnight <laughs> by eating over the holidays so much and all the eating I do on my, on my other channel I got a channel called this is how you do it and I it's a eating channel all, you, all I do is eat over there make sounds smacking rain and all that kind of stuff it hasn't taken off yet but it's doing pretty good as well as you know you can be it can be expected it's doing all right And I'm about through with my hair, y'all. And I'm going to cut this thing off. I'm going to leave that crooked part in it. But this is what my hair looks like. Sometimes it don't dry before nightfall. And then I don't like to lay down with it wet. So sometimes I will go ahead and twist it up for the next day. I'm going to turn around and give y'all a look-see. Make sure I cover all the parts in the back. If not, then when I see this video, then I know it's not covered and I need to straighten it out. And this is Val with This Is How You Do It. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. Hello, everybody. This is Val with This Is How We Do It.